Hey, peace family, what's going on? It's Cornelius here with Too Smart To Be Broke. I wanna say thank you for coming to the channel. Um, if you don't know, uh, what I like to talk about here uh, is being an entrepreneur, you know what I mean? Getting business funding, jumping out here for the first time, uh, just jumping out in the water, seeing if I can float, swim, doggy paddle. Uh, but now nah, I just wanted to plant some seeds with everybody and um, show you what I go through and maybe it'll help you out on your journey, on your, on your, uh, on your growth, on your path. And um, I'm so thankful to the people that email me, reach out to me, and post in the comments and share their experiences with me. Even people that uh, leave me things that I didn't, you know, I didn't know or whatever, not aware of. You know, it's always thankful. It's all, it's all love, man. So I appreciate that, and I just come here to reciprocate the energy. Uh, oh, mean. Oh, yeah. Thank y'all too, man. Subscribers been going up a little bit. Thank you, thank you. I just want to say this. I'm, I'm gonna make this short because um, I ain't on my laptop, so I, I can't show you on my screen right now. But I just wanted to reach out and build with you and tell you this: personal credit is very much necessary, my opinion, I'm not an account of attorney, very much necessary to build your business credit in today. Brand new business. Your business started yesterday and whatnot, brand new business, you are going to need to leverage something. You're gonna to have to leverage something. Uh, tax returns, profit and loss statements, making money, $10,000 in your business bank account for three months. You got some type of inventory. You got a car dealership. You got cars. You got personal credit or an officer in your business that got good personal credit. Leverage it to get the money. Stop playing with yourself, okay? Yes, you need to get vendors and build relationships to have a, a plethora of relationships to make you look like a, a, a credible business. But... I'm telling you, clean up that personal credit and get going, man. Remove them, uh, not increase, remove derogatory information, remove uh, inaccurate information, meaning if you got your personal credit profile and there's more than one name on there, there's only one you. There's more than one address on there, you, you only got one primary, okay? So do those things, man. You know, uh, I would say, you know, maybe, maybe pay, you know, it's tough for me to say. I wouldn't pay over three, four, mm, I'd be pushing it with five. I wouldn't pay that much to get my personal credit fixed out the gate. People are paying thousands of dollars. It's very beneficial, but you can do it yourself if you take some studying. But you got money, pay a few hundred dollars to get it or do it yourself, okay? From there, if you want to build up your credit profile, say you got your credit good, it's clean, but now you don't have any history, all right? Find you an authorized user, your grandma, your mama, your brother, your sister, your, your wife, your husband, find somebody who has decent credit history that's paying their bills on time and ask to be an authorized user and just say, hey, do you mind putting me on your account? I don't need the credit card because I've done that for some of my family my, and my partners. You can get on the account, but you ain't gonna get the card. So I give you the history, but I ain't gonna give you the card, all right? So um, that right there, family, is way to get started now if you don't have an authorized you i was getting a phone call so say you don't have an authorized user right okay um you can do unsecured credit card right meaning you got five hundred dollars take that five hundred dollars put it in the bank and open up a uh, secure credit card so pretty much they're going to use that five hundred dollars to create a credit card you put you put the money down to get a credit card and you're gonna have $500 balance that's gonna to report to the bureaus, and that's how you boom, you start building the credit, all right? So that's just, you got unsecured, you got Wells Fargo, you got Navy Federal, there's, there's a few different places that got unsecured credit cards. So authorized user, unsecured credit, unsecured credit cards, you got places like Capital One, I don't really like them business-wise and stuff like that, but you know, do what you gotta do, because on business side, Discover and uh, Discover and Capital One report to both business and personal, and if your utilization is too high, it's going to affect, um, it's going to affect the, uh, your personal in a negative aspect, uh, not so much with the business. But do what you got to do starting off. All right, boom, boom, um, and you do want to have a variety if you can. You know, multiple cards. You know, maybe uh, different types of uh, credit limits, lines, and uh, car loans, different like that. So at least you know three, four, five. You know, what I mean, at least have. Try to have at least three, four, five different little things you can you can do. 30% utilization, meaning you got $1,000 credit card, only use 300 of it. Uh, preferably 15 to 20%, but you know, you get to just do that. Um, oh, a gym for you. 
for people who need to get credit cards, usually this place, a uh, place is called uh, NewCoastDirect.com or and MyJewelersClub.com. Um, the Jewelers Club, of course, you get some jewelry. Uh, New Coast Direct has different little, this different little guard and electronics or whatever. Um, I think that they're actually their application fee or something is around ninety-five dollars, or you have to have like a hundred dollars in the shopping cart to even apply for the credit. But the thing is, they normally. Um, they normally approve you for like five thousand dollars, right? On New Coast Direct and my Jewelers Club, you gotta they're separate, but you know, um, so you can get you know five two five thousand uh, uh, dollar potentially. Cause I'm not accounting the attorney. Potentially get two five thousand dollar credit cards that report to um, all the little different bureaus. You know what I'm saying? Um, whatever on the personal side, so that would come boost you up. And for some people who might be stuck with um, a low level credit limits that may be something you want to do to boost you over that five thousand because typically you want your credit limits to be over five thousand you want them five ten fifteen twenty but you know sometimes when you start off you kind of hit it you kind of get a hundred two hundred five hundred a thousand two thousand sometimes it kind of tear you off you know because some sometimes you know i can have i can have a twelve thousand dollar credit card then i have a three thousand because i got a one thousand you know and i you know i should have let the one thousand go so it's like you kind of want them all to be, you know, 8, 10, 15, 20. So that way when you go get to leverage your personal credit, that's where that, your, your business credit typically will be at. All right, so that's a nugget right there for y'all if y'all ain't get that. New Coast Direct and My Jewelers Club. Y'all you know what I'm saying? Make sure to go check that out. And when you're monitoring your personal credit and fixing your personal credit, let me backtrack. Annualcreditreport.com is free for you to pull the thing. Don't pay no money. They're not going to give you the score unless you pay for it. Don't pay it for it from them. All right. Um, uh, Credit Karma is not accurate. It's just not an accurate site, family. Uh, it's good for the information that's on there, but it's not good as far as like the score. So your derogatories, the accounts you have open, your limits and all that. Cool. But the actual um, uh, the actual score, my, my, my credit card Karma was like 100 points off, man. So I'm like, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, ah, what am I going to do with this? So. Uh, yeah, it's not accurate as far as the points, but it's a very good free site to know what's going on with your credit report. You know what I mean? So, when you do all of those things, all right, um, then at that point, you know, you have a business and you might want to, uh, some, some people don't want to keep their personal, they, no, they don't want to have their social connected to their business as far as being a personal guarantee and being held liable. I'm with you. I don't want to do that either, but starting out, it's one of the, the best practices to do, in my opinion, to start to get up to get. Either that, you just gotta be making money. If you're making money, fine. The bank gonna fool with you. Having that ten thousand dollars a month in a, in there for three months, uh, at least three months, that low five bank rating, that's how you get it going. You know, but not everybody has money. Everybody's in a different position. You see what I'm saying? So, uh, as far as paying the vendors and all that, you can do that. It's good to have that relationship. Just know that you're not going to get hundreds and thousands of dollars, in my opinion, by just doing the net vendors and never trying to connect your social to it. Uh, the algorithms are a little bit different nowadays. You know, I share with y'all, you know, the Sam's Club, the uh, MasterCard and Storecard that I, I got, you know. Um, so from my perspective now, it's like, hey, just clean up that personal credit, man. Um, the best way to go is is, 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 is fairly clean and the personal credit is already always repairable. Uh, you know, you, you can get inquiries off, you know, after about 90 days or so, get the inquiries off and do it again. Do it again. Come on, baby. Um, so, uh, it's powerful, man. It's powerful. And, you know, I'm just, I just want to keep the video short and just let you know, like, I, I, if I can't ever let people know, yo, clean up your personal credit. I'm not sitting here, like, trying to sell you uh, uh, on, hey, you need to, you need to apply this package to, I'm going to show you all the vendors. Because I, I, I legit was going to do that. I'm not going to lie. I, th I thought about it. And I and I was like, it could be very beneficial for people who have the money that I'd saved us some time between looking at vendors. But I'm letting you know, if it was me, I would focus more on what can I do to fix my, what, what can I be doing to make money? What can I be doing to fix my credit to get leverage, to leverage that to actually use this money to help me move. That's what I would focus on. 
Um, the vendors are important to show that credible relationship, but at the end of the day, you need to be making money and having good credit can give you the leverage that you need. It's something that you can control yourself, all right? You can fix it yourself and you can build it up to get to where you need to be to do that. So, you know what I mean? I, hopefully, that helps somebody. And just to, just to talk about that, I'm curious to see after the information that I'm giving you, after you hear me say this, who, who would be, who, one, who would be interested in uh, if I did provide you an opportunity to see all the vendors updated whenever, uh, whenever something changed, you know what I'm saying? Who would be interested to see that, right? If you would like me to provide that service, I, uh, if I did provide that service, I guarantee you that I would provide it at a cheaper rate than everybody else. However, I'm going to let you know your primary focus, in my opinion, should be making money and fixing your personal credit to leverage to get funding. That's my personal opinion. But if you're still interested in getting uh, the actual, uh, 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 more or less the walkthrough of all the, you know, the walkthrough of all the vendors and who's reporting all that, if you're interested, interested in that, let me know because I may, I may provide the service if I get enough people to tell me they want to do it. All right, and that's just me being honest. I told you what I think and how I feel, but I'll still provide that for people who still want to, you know, walk that path. Okay, um, as well as uh, I thought about providing a service too. Uh, what I'll tell you about this, in my opinion, fix your personal credit, go out and leverage that, and find your own credit cards. Now, um, with that being said, how would you feel if I offered a service to you, where you know most people? Okay, let me let me say it like this. Most people, when you're um, going to get the credit cards, they charge you eight to, eight to twelve percent on the back end. Meaning, if, if they get you twenty thousand dollars of funding, they charge you two th two thousand. That's ten percent. Now, are are you comfortable with that, or are you not comfortable with that? Because I feel like you can go do it yourself, but to take some of the hassle off of it, you can have somebody do it for you. That's usually how business works. You do it yourself, or you pay for somebody to have it done. Me personally, I'm telling you. You can fix your credit yourself. Um, you can you can get business funding yourself. You don't necessarily have to use the vendors, you know. But I understand you want to try to keep your personal credit separate. Just you know, you need to be making money then. Figure some way out to make some money. And this is just me being authentic about how I feel about all of that because I understand people are like, oh man, that's a lot of money. Well, it's a, it's a service, and I say this in the, as a business owner. Sometimes you have to delegate things to other people. Sometimes spending some money can buy your time back. So it depends on how beneficial your time is versus the money that you have. So let me know. I'm just curious, straight curious, because I'm trying to get everything I got for free, but I'm curious if I provided a service where I can, I can for, for cheaper than everybody else that's giving you all these vendors, every, all when they update, would you be interested if I was to do something like that? And would you be interested if I was able to help you uh, get credit, business credit funding and taking a percentage on the back end. All right. Cause right now I'm just kind of like, I do consultations and I rap with you and I, um, and I'm not going to hit you over the head and nothing like that too, but I give you everything I got. So I'm just curious to say that, you know what I mean? Um, so if y'all would like for me to provide that service, let me know. If not, y'all can keep it real with me in the comments. Now with that being said, family, you already know now it's time. To, it's time to plug, um, if you need business credit monitoring, there's a link below, all right? Free version on nav.com. I think it's the best bang for your buck, in my personal opinion. Uh, I, I don't know the lady name. Shout out to the uh, uh, the lady that she actually uh, dropped a comment today, said she actually purchased nav, I mean, uh, DMB, and it was very beneficial for her, for her and uh, she seems like she's a very successful business owner. Granted, she seems like she's been in business a little while, uh, so I don't know how things were versus then or now when she purchased it, but uh, yeah, very insightful. She said it was very helpful, so uh, shout out to her. Um, and I want to say, oh man, I got t-shirts for sale, man. I got t-shirts for sale too. So if you support this channel, you don't have to give me a, you don't have to give me a dime. Just like the video, subscribe, and that's gratitude enough. But if you do want to support the channel, there's a link below, um, for, to get the, get some of these two smarter beats. I got, uh, hoodies and a, and a couple of different shirts up there. I'm about to knock my mic down. I got, uh, hoodies and a couple of different shirts up there. I'll drop the link below, and if you're interested in uh, the t-shirts, use the promo code HOLIDAY20. It's good until 
uh, December 4th, right? You can get 20% off these shirts. I think I got them up there for like $21.99 or something like that. Anyway, get a couple dollars off with the 20%. Um, use Holiday 20. I'll put a link in, link in the description below. If you want free business credit monitoring, I'll put a link in the description below for that too. And you know what? If you want the paid business credit monitoring where it reports to Equifax, um, Dun & Bradstreet, and Experian, I'm gonna put that link below too. Uh, keep in mind, these are affiliate links and this will continue to help me provide content. And if you're still here on this channel right now at the end of this video as I'm doing these plugs, I know you rock with me. So peace. Share, like, subscribe, and drop down in the comments of you know what I'm saying about the next video you want me to talk about. Thank love y'all, man. Peace.